Yo, what's good, everybody? Or expert, and we back at it again. Um, yeah. So today, this is going to. It was originally going to be a tier list video. I was going to put Miguel on the tier list, but instead, I decided to update the tier list because with Thonar coming up, that brings a lot of new units to the table for Wolf specifically on who can be for one, who can be for two. I mean, not all the characters I've listed can be 4-3 now because of, um, what's-her-face, Thonar. But some of them used to not be able to be 4-1, but now with Thonar's existence, they can. So I took the time to do this instead and run through the units I've already put on the tier list and just update them from not only just the wolf stuff, but the stuff I've heard in general about like some of the things I got wrong and stuff like that. So we're, there's eight characters. You already see them at the top. They all have the favorites except for Thonar because obvious reason. But they're all favorited up here and we're just gonna run through all of them and just tell you how exactly their point system changed. And yeah, let's just leave it at that and we're gonna hop into it real quick. So be sure to like and subscribe before I get into it. We're gonna roll to 400 now. We got 311 at the time we're recording this. So, that'll be nice if y'all would, you know, subscribe to your boy. We, we vibing over here. But if not, it's fine. I won't cry or anything. But yeah, let's go into it. Alright. So, let's start off with Freyr. The man, the myth, the sun god. I did him before I had the straight rules of what I was going to do. And now I'm only doing characters that have their holy relics. So we know their full potential. But... On accident, just because he was the newest character at the time of me starting this, I did Freyr, even though he doesn't have a holy relic. So, yes, I will revisit Freyr again if he ever gets a holy relic. But, so if you remember my tier list video, he's still at the top of the list, being 7 Daily Sins tier, the top of the top. And with the new list, so the two, I changed two things about him. Like, for instance, uh, his wolf scoring. Thonar with thing, he was already the wolf character to begin with, so Thonar just makes his life a little easier. So his score is still max, which is five. But for the what I'm changing about Thonar or, or Freyr, he so I had him three points for PvP, which means he is a meta character for PvP, and I had him two points for Nighthood Boss, which means he is a meta character for Nighthood Boss. Now, now that I'm looking through it and going through teams and PvP, no one's running Freyr, obviously, for obvious reasons. Like, he has a good kit, but he's not meta. So, I gave Freyr a 2 instead of a 3, because he's still good in PvP. You can still run him if you really wanted to. He's just not someone you would see in PvP often, nor is he someone that will dominate PvP. So, he's got demoted down to good and that's just that so he went from three to two basically and for knighthood boss i had him at two points which means he is meta and you can probably get high scores but now that we actually have the knighthood boss belgius that uses all the what do you call them the um unknowns and fairies and giants and stuff yeah freyr not that metaphor he can kill like very easily but he doesn't get points that's why no one's running Freyr in the Knighthood scoring. So, I lowered his score from 2, 2 to 1. So he's just good, and he's just, yeah, good. So his final scoring, that's all the um, edits I made for Freyr. His final scoring was 25 beforehand, but now, updated, I'm giving him 23, which is going to make him S+, plus and not a 7 daily since rank anymore. So he's still good. He's still up there, but he's just not top at the top anymore if you know what I'm saying now we move on to Rimuru I'm gonna just tell you now he had the biggest change in the the scoring and we all know why Rimuru is an actual god for uh, the skull and hottie now if you've seen all the content creators videos and all the talk Rimuru is like one of the best teams for um, skull and hottie now or mm, fun so to speak but he, yeah i've tried it i beat four one and two with him i cannot be four three because i just suck at the game so yeah sure 
But regardless, this man's crazy in Skull and Huddy now. But that's not the only thing I changed about him. Wait, never mind. <laughs> it is. He had one point previously because he was able to clear for a one, but he couldn't clear for a two. So now, instead of that, he is able to literally main DPS the entire um, Demonic Beast battle. So instead of him getting one point, he's getting the full five points, which, yes, gives him four points on his original scoring, which was 20, making him an S tier character. So now, being at 24 points, he has went up the ladder to an S plus character, basically. So now that we're done with that, we're moving on to Green Valenti. Mm, so for Green Valenti, she is pretty okay. Her, nothing dramatic changed about her, mm, other than Skull and Huddy, of course. So with Thonar's existence, she can now compete. She can be used on the King team, technically. You can run King and Valenti instead of the Blue Bond, really. But at the same time, she's not doing what Blue Bond does all game because she's just not that good of a character for whatever reason. But I know for a fact you can clear for one with her now. Previously, I knew you just couldn't, she couldn't do it because Thonar just wasn't a thing and there was no actual units. Even though Thonar doesn't help her immensely, it's more or less Thonar is helping King, which helps her because she's supporting King and Thonar supporting King, which makes her usable, basically. So, yeah. She didn't get anything crazy, just one extra point because she could actually clear for one. And she's still C tier, like she already is. She just went from 10 points to 11. So I think that puts her in front of somebody. I, I think. I have to look at the points system and see, but I'm pretty sure she went above somebody there. So yeah, that's about it. All right, so now that we're here, we have Shuna. Shuna! Didn't get anything crazy either. She's got the Green Valency Syndrome going on. Nothing there. Her stats are different. She got the same scoring. But outside of Wolf. So in Wolf, same thing as um, Valency. She's able to clear Wolf now. So instead of her having the original four points that I gave her, making her like bottom tier, right below F tier, or right before F tier, she's had five points. Still E tier. So nothing dramatic changing. She's just... A usable character for wolf now for floor one yeah that's about it now we move in to green sario uh yeah sonar that's about it nothing crazy changed but not really sonar he was already able to beat floor one like from that was one of the mistakes i've made this is one of those mistakes he apparently is able to beat floor one before sonar and i i guess i was just very unlucky in doing so so I tried him again, and I can't be floor two with him. But yeah, I can say for sure that he is able to clear floor one if you have a healer and shit like that. So he's getting that extra point as well, making him 20 points instead of 19. Still S tier, not changing anything crazy. And that's pretty much it. So we move into the next one. And now Red Matrona, same thing. She's able to clear for one now. She might be able to clear for two if you like try. I can't be bothered to try. So if y'all can clear for two with Matrona, let me know. That's one of those things that I, I want to know if someone actually does it or not. I looked at like the best teams that are being used right now for Skull and Honey, and Matrona isn't on any of them. So I'm going to assume no. But I know for a fact that she can clear for one now because that's also one of those teams I tried. So that bumps her to 15 points. And I, yeah, that's still B tier. I think. Yeah, that just puts her at high B tier, basically. She's one point off of A tier. That's pretty much that. And now, last but not least, Simon. Yes. There, uh, yeah. I said it. I don't care what nobody says to me. This man's holy relic saves Thonar so much. Because if, basically, if the wolf crits Thonar, she's dead. Like, let's keep it a buck. Like, bro, she dies if the wolf crits her, basically. And with him lowering crit chance crit damage, it I don't know, I don't remember if it works on the night wolf, but it definitely works on the um the light wolf, and it's beautiful. Like, you don't need those core resistance rules when you can just run Simon, yeah, fucking twat. So yeah, I've been I was able to clear for one with Simon. I was using Simon Freyer, 
Melly. No, not Melly. I was using Simon Freyer, Liz, and Thonar. That's what it was. Like, that team was actually manageable. It was a little annoying trying to get to phase three, but it's possible. I did it, and that's all that matters. It's not how hard it is or how easy it is. It's the fact that you can just do it, and he didn't die in the process. So, you can give him that extra point, which puts him at 10 points. He was originally at nine. And that bumps him up from D tier to C tier. Yeah, I said it. This R character is a C tier character. I told you, this is a true tier list. I'm not judging, I'm judging everyone equally. If they can perform better in pe other people's content, then fucking give him the fucking credit. And he, he has the credit. I did it with my own eyes. I cleared floor one. He is, uh, yeah, like, he's usable. Stop trying to play him. I don't care. Like, bro, it, look at my gear real quick. I just, just a re weird rant, I guess. I have an HP defense with full uh, attack, and then the other one is crit chance, I believe. Yes, this one's crit chance. Uh, yeah, yeah, 12, 21% crit chance, giving him 57, and then he has a triple crit card. Yeah, has, yeah. I don't care. He's good. It works. I did it. 20 points or 10 points fuck he's a c tier character now and that's about it <laughs> let's just go on to the list because that's all the characters that have been modified or updated everyone else on the list the donor didn't save them they still act the exact same in wolf so let's move on to the tier list fix our mistakes i am not going to fix the mistakes on the spreadsheet because that's just whatever at this point no one's actually gonna look at that anyway. That's more or less just for funsies. So the spreadsheet's fine, but I'll go and let's go see what exactly this tier list looks like now. Okay, so now we're here. I'm gonna keep it small so y'all can see everything because y'all don't need to see the entire list of characters I have. So this is gonna be perfectly fine as it is. So let's start from the bottom, right? As you said, Shuna is still in E tier, so there's no changing her. She has five points and she's not competing with anyone. So she's fine. Simon has 10 points now. Is he shadowing Rimuru? Yes. Because they were both tied for nine, but now that Simon has 10 points, Simon is actually ahead of Rimuru. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, Green Valenti is getting one more point, but she does not overtake Benny Maru. Benny Maru has 12 points. And this new update gives Valenti 11, so she's not going anywhere. And Red Matrona is at 15 points, but she's still a high B now, so she's also not moving. They're not moving. Green Sario has 20 points now. So really, is Milam and Sario are tied. So which one is better? Cause I don't think I'm gonna make a video like that again. If they tie, I'm gonna just make a video deciding who's actually the better unit of the two. I don't think I'm gonna do that unless someone asks me to, or unless it's like a very close in terms of like who I think would win in a one v one scenario. But in terms of these two, obviously Sario is just better. Like dead ass. If Sario Connors, yeah, Milam's gonna kill herself, <laughs> basically. So, Sario takes Milan out. That's pretty simple. And now the big change, obviously, Demon Lord Rimuru. He can clear it, and then puts him at 24 points. So, he's literally high S+. Plus. So, he can go up. And Freyr is going down as a mid S+, plus, having 23 points. So, he's now behind Rimuru. And Rimuru is now the high, strongest character I've done so far on my list. And Slime Rimuru is the worst. So, yeah. It's going so far. Top three, Rimuru, Freyr, Sariel, then Milam, Merlin. Oh, I did tell them accident. Milam, Merlin, Matronas, Mono, Benny Morrow, Valenti, Simon, Rimuru, Shuna, Slime Rimuru. And that's going to be the end of the video. Nothing too crazy. Just, just a quick little update. Next week is going to be the ReZero collab. So I'm, the first video is going to be Summon. And I might do some PvP videos. But I'm probably going to do what I did with Slime characters. And rate all six of the fucking ReZero collectors characters in one video. That's probably what's gonna end up happening. So that video's gonna be very long. Be on the lookout for that one, cause boy, McKidna right hard of problems, not gonna lie. But regardless, this is updated.
uh, yeah, you're gonna see this. There's a link in the description, most likely. And if it's not in this description, it's in the description of one of the older ones because I probably forgot to do it. So, yeah, I'll see y'all in the next video when ReZero comes out. Peace!